Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez and I'm filming another video of how to make a quick and easy card. Um, this time I'm going to be featuring the Baby Bear stamp set. Um, I know it's not a new one, um, but I haven't really used it. And as you have heard me in the past, I love bears. So I figured let's do one of these uh, little guys. And also, um, well, you know that I'm going to be soon to be an aunt from my brother. And so I'm, I'm just thinking I'm going to be sending them cards every single time. So anyway, um, so let's just go ahead and do it. So the cardstock that I have, I'm sorry, the, <laughs> yeah, the cardstock that I have for my card, it is, this one is crumb cake. And it is five and a half by eight and a half. So I'm going to put it here. And then I have these pieces, which is um, four by four on vanilla, on very vanilla. Then I have a little scrap that I'm going to be using. And then this one comes from the design series paper. And let me see what's the name. The name of this one is Bundle of Joy. And what is really cool about this one is that it has basically three patterns. So, sorry, it has these little, I don't know, like little flowers or whatever. Then it has these little that, um, dots or whatever, I don't even know. And then it has this one that looks like a knit. The pretty cool thing about it is that when you turn it, it has the foil on the same designs. So you'll see it in a second here. Here it is. So it is really pretty paper. Um, and um, all the all the paper come in two basic colors. So one is pink and the other one will be splash. What is the color? Blushing bright and soft sky. So those are the colors that it came. And then the back, it's the gold foil. So I think it's really, it's really pretty. Uh, so I'm going to be using, like I said in the past, I think that um, the little baby is the boy. We still don't know what it is, but that's what um, I'm thinking it's going to be. So I'm going to be using this one, but on the gold side, and I'm going to be using a strip of blue because I think it's a boy. But anyway, we'll see. Um, and if it is a girl, I'm sure it will be fine either way. Um, girls also look great in blue. So anyway. Um, so this one is a four by four, a scrap. This little piece is really a four, I'm sorry, yeah, a four by one inch, and it's gonna go this way. And it, this one is just a half of an inch, just a strap that I'm gonna put here that I'll show you in a second. So anyway, let's just move on. Um, the colors that I'm gonna be using, I'm still not really sure about that part, but I'm gonna be using the crumb cake. And um, maybe this soft swipe, but I'm not really sure just yet. So we'll, we'll see. It's one of those that I'm also reviewing what I'm going to be doing. So we'll see. Okay. So I'm going to be um, inking the bear. And it is photopolymer on this one. So you could, you could pretty much see... Um, you can pretty much see through, so it's easy to line it up. And I'm going to be putting it somewhere here. You know what? Probably center. Like so. And um, you kind of see on images like that uh, that are big, you kind of see where you need to be pushing. Um, and definitely use your foam mat. Definitely use it. So anyway, there we go. Um, then I'm going to be using this one. And actually, I've heard, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and, and use the, hmm, where's the other one? I'm going to be changing it. I don't, I don't want it to be so dark. So I'm going to be changing this guy. There are different, you can see there's two more. I think I'm going to be using the, this one rather than that one. You can do a two-step and three-step, and like I said, I haven't really used it in the past, so... But I feel like, because it's dark, I don't want to have too much color there, so we'll see. So I'm going to be using um, this little one, and... 
let's see how this one looks. And again, the cool thing about the stamping is if I don't like this side, I can flip it and then redo it again. So let's just see. And I'm going to be hmm, pretty much lining up the ears, I think. We'll see. And if I don't like it, maybe on this one, that's where I use the... Okay. Hmm. It looks nice, but I feel like it does need more color. So maybe I do go ahead and do the other one, you know? Maybe I do go ahead and build it even more. You never know, right? Um, where's my thing? Okay, here. So I might go ahead and, and do it. And again, this is kind of a new thing for me too. So I'm going to put it on this other side. Um, okay, I'm going to put it here. And, um, and I'm going to be using, again, the um, crumb cake. I thought I was going to use the other one, the soft suede. And maybe I'll do it on the other side and we'll see which one we like best. But anyway. And the same thing with this. I'm going to be lining up the ears. Seems like the ears are the easiest thing to line up. And hopefully uh, this works out because I love the bears and I love this little one. So I've seen lots of samples with this one, but this is the first time. Oh, there you go. It looks really nice, don't you think? You know what? Let's just do one more just to see how it will look if I have the um, the bear with the soap slate just to, you know, just to compare. And if I don't like it, then I'll switch it again to the one that I have. Alright, so let's do this. Again, I'm using the crumb cake. Let's make sure I have enough ink on this one. And again, I like that on... I like a lot that I can always flip it up and, and see if I don't like it, then I can switch and see. Like, you have a second chance, if you will. <laughs> Um, and then let's do this one now. Oh, maybe. I even like it this way. Huh. Wow. Okay, so let's just... Let's just try to line it up. This might be the one that I like the best, huh? You can see the detail. One, two, and three. Whoa, I think I like this one better. I think the bear pop up even more. So I'm going to go with this one. All right. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to be doing is... Let me just put this little guy here. It's the bow. And I know I have two bows here. And I'm going to be using marionette mist. So now for this one... um this one is the one I'm gonna be using a scrap of paper and I'm going to stamp off and then stamp here okay and then I'm gonna go full full um, range with this one All right, let's see. One, two, three. Wow, it looks really cool. All right, now, using my scissors, I'm going to be cutting around this one. And I already have one pre-cut, so we'll use that one. And then let's use Welcome to the World. You know, I feel like that will be the nicest stamp set. And just give me a second here. Because I didn't put it on a... Alright, so I'm going to be using that. And because I know I'm going to be putting this paper on this area, I'm going to be putting this one here. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Let's just wait. 
let's just wait let's start assembling this you know because I might change my mind again um, like today I'm all all over the place so let's start doing all this and we'll figure out the saying in a second so I'm gonna be folding this in half as you've seen me in the past you see my bone folder now this part it's going to go here and this one will go here and so I need to align this one for a second and we're going to be putting snail, no there's snail, but the fast fuse in this area alright so let's just line it up and I'm going to be putting this one here and this one there. And the only reason I'm doing it that way is because I cut this one shorter. So, um, and I want to go over the whole thing. And then what I'm going to be using is this strip. Okay. And I'm going to cut this. Alright, and then I'm going to be doing the same thing here. Actually, let me just cut a little bit here. Just so you So it doesn't show. Okay. And what I like about this when you do that is like it seems like you have a larger piece, but you don't, huh? So that's another way you'll save your car stock. And um, I typically get this um, um, what do you call? This is strips whenever I'm cutting for a car stock, right? So you have all these half of an inch strips that you could use, and it seems like you have a larger piece, but you don't. So now I'm going to be putting this little guy, I'm going to pop it up using the mini dimensionals. And, um, alrighty. I'm going to be putting it here and then what I'm going to be doing is using maybe a strip of vanilla. Maybe I still have some vanilla left. We'll see. No, I don't think I like it that way. I think I'm just going to put it here. I think I like it here. I don't want to pop it up. I think I like it that way. So it was good that we did it that way. So I'm going to be using again the self suede. And I'm going to be putting it here. Welcome to the world. I'm going to be careful not to rock it. And here it is. Don't you like it? I mean, I feel like it looks gorgeous. Um, and again, I love the little guy. So here is my quick and easy car for a for um let me put it here so you don't see the light there so here's my quick and easy car for a baby um if you do like the oh you know what you know what of course everything looks better with wink of a cell so let's just put a little bit of that but anyway if you do like my video do subscribe so that you don't miss the um the videos the my future videos and also i'm going to be putting a link to all the products that i used um, so that you can recreate this card and um, and also um, I do have a Facebook group where I am posting all my videos so uh, feel free to join my group so anyway we'll see you soon thank you bye